Hello everyone, so in this video let us see how to process an AFM image using Gwydian. So here I have my AFM image opened at the background and uh, this is the floating uh, Gwydian menu. So the first thing that I do is I would want to set the right contrast. So you can click on this color range button here and then here if you uh, click on this automatic color range you can see that it brightens up and then you can hide it. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to crop the image. So for cropping, you can choose this crop data. And then um, uh, you can choose the range that you want to. So here, uh, so you can actually minimize it if you want to see the entire thing. So I have a specific size requirement. So Uh, okay. Yeah, and then once you crop it, you can close the old image or keep it. And sometimes you might see that the AFM images is, is it's kind of rotated. So uh, if you want to rotate your image, then you can go to data process, basic operations. And then here you can say rotate by an angle. By default, automatically it does something. As you can see here, it's rotated my image by uh, minus 0 0.81 degrees. So you can actually apply it if you want. Um, but uh, in my case, I don't need it. Um, so I'm just going to uh, leave it as is. And then uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to... Uh, remove these white areas because uh, they are artifacts that get collected when AFM is being, uh, you know, when it's being scanned. So the black regions are the actual data points. So you can do that by uh, using this mask. Uh, so before you process, you need to block out the regions that you don't want to process. So for that, uh, we can use this mask. So automatically, by default, uh, masking can, uh, you know, uh, block out the regions that uh, you want to to some extent but here you can see that uh, this square here this square here they are not completely covered so you can actually choose the edit mask option here and then under mode uh, you can say add to selection as rectangles you have other options as well depending on the shape that you need but I'm going to use a rectangle here uh, which is perfect for this particular uh, demonstration and then I physically draw the squares in the in the region as I'm doing it right here. And uh, you have to also make sure that uh, sometimes uh, you can see that uh, you see certain marks uh, in areas that you don't want to. You can also remove a mask which I'll show after I finish up um, covering the regions of interest in this particular sample. Uh, and also uh, you can you know remove mask from certain regions uh, uh, using uh, the different modes there are different modes where you can kind of intersect or so in this particular mode I can just select the area and then the mask goes away so once you know I have uh, added uh, all the mask so maybe let me just add this because there seem to be some white spots here and there and yeah I think we're done and then the next thing that you want to do is flatten the image so here you can see that this region is kind of more bright compared to this part so that is because of the uh, the image is not flattened so here by choosing this you are leveling and here when you choose the button uh, it'll ask you whether you want to exclude the mask regions you can say yes or it kind of depends on what you need and then this option here is to level out data again with respect to facets and again you can include or exclude masks depending on what you need and uh, this is kind of the filter option which kind of removes out the white uh, regions that uh, we see otherwise as you can see here uh, it's kind of removed and of course you have different options 
you can explore all of them depending on what you need. I typically use polynomial of the degree 5. Um, it seems to give the best option for me at least for my samples. And you also have the option to exclude background and plot some background data which I don't need. And then once you do that you can you still see that there are some lines over here. So these lines can be removed by uh, clicking on this correct horizontal scars. So you can see that those lines are removed. So sometimes it so happens that it does not get removed in once. So you can actually click on it again to get rid of that. And again, when you do this, the masked regions get excluded. So, uh, you know, uh, whatever is underneath the red squares, they don't get affected. And once you're done, uh, you can actually open the mask uh, editor again and then you can say remove masks so now you can see that this image is perfect and also you may want to change the color so for example I typically use this and another thing that you can do is uh, I actually don't like or don't want this, this uh, the uh, you know the color scheme uh, uh, along with I want to normalize the scale so initially we use this automatic color range but you can actually set whatever range you want uh, so if you come to this uh, set color range option explicitly so in my case I know that uh, this is like 25 nanometers deep and also you can say that you want to start from zero uh, and so now you can see that you know uh, the scale bar over here is going from zero to minus 25 uh, which is what I need uh, and then um, uh, another thing that you can do is you can uh, kind of measure uh, uh, distances and also you can get the height profile so typically if you want to get the height profile uh, uh, you can actually use uh, this option here so the measure option here and uh, you can hold down shift to draw a straight line and uh, then uh, you can see that you know it's going the distance between these two points and uh, the other thing that you can do is if you use this you can get height profile which is kind of very important uh, for my samples so uh, I can actually you know uh, what I can do is I can actually extend this across the entire square so now you can see that uh, this is a trench and uh, if I say apply um, you get this kind of uh, a window and here uh, what you can do is uh, you can click on this measure distance option and uh, then you can just click on two points here so now the height difference between this point and this point is around 19 nanometers so uh, yeah this is one way to do it so if you want to get for all the squares then you will have to uh, you know independently move for each of the window and uh, then you have to click apply again and then uh, you can click on this height profile window again and then get the squares so this is the way you know you process an AFM image using Gridian and uh, you can in, in this particular example I showed you how to set the contrast and also how to remove some artifacts and how to flatten or smoothen the image and then also in this particular example I showed you how to get height profiles using Quidian. Thank you.